Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of the Jane Speed Shop. If you're new to the channel, have a look in the right corner for you, there's my logo, you can click on it and see all the other videos of my project. And also have a look on jaynespeedshop.com, the link is over here. So, um, it's taking a little bit longer than I want, but let's make an update of the uh, heat insulation for the exhaust. So, I did this before and it was not ideal. Uh, the way I did it, so with the spot welding, uh, with a normal welder, so I had another one because this one has an anti-stick function, so it's like, um, yeah, if it sticks, it will throw the power off, that's the way I think it works. So I bought a smaller one that's not here anymore because I, yeah, throw it away because I did some modifications on it and, uh, yeah, was not ideal because I was burning holes in it, so um, what I did now, I got uh, most of the exhaust done, so I only have to do the exhaust manifold, so I, you see here I put the insulation on it, that's like 5 millimeters thick, so this is like a ceramic wall, and there's a, a stitched, and there is an, um, on the back side there is like a, a sticky piece, it's just like a sticker, you put it on, you can see it here, I have a piece that's, uh, it's just sticks, so you can just put it on where you want it. So, of course, if the exhaust heats off, this glue will burn or melt out of it. But that's so in the first time the exhaust getting hot, you got a little bit of smoke. I had it in the past also, but yeah, that's still only the first time. So, the stainless steel uh, plates, this is like uh, 0.1 millimeter thickness. And uh, what's what I'm using? I'm using this from this brand. So that's HJS, it's a company in Germany. And it will sell, this is like a part number, you get like uh, the, the wool, it's over here. I think it's a piece that's uh, one meter by 150 centimeters, I thought, and also the stainless steel. So how much do you need? So I bought two sets of this. And I think a set was around 200 euros. I, I'm not sure anymore because I bought it uh, a few months ago because I was ordering more. So this, I think a box is like 193 euros or something. I'm not sure about it. So I also did uh, the downpipe section that's connected to the turbo and uh, there's the waste gain on. And this is the section underneath the car. So um, I stopped over there because this is the piece that's underneath the car. So this is how I'm going to do it. So the flex piece, I have to have a look what I'm going to do with it. If I make an, uh, some aluminium piece that will reflect the heat away from the transmission or something, I have to have a look. So this is all done. And it looks much better than it was before. So what is the trick? So what is the solution? So this is an, a spot welder for batteries. You can buy this on all kinds of websites like uh, eBay or AliExpress. And um, yeah, it's just this is just over eight volts. You can just just a charger with it, and you can uh, just uh, put it on a low setting. Like what I tried is to put it on a low setting, like on three. Depends how high the battery is, and then you can use it just for spot welding. Oh, and if you then just put these pieces on there. Put it on free food. There is a foot pedal. I will put it on the floor. And have a look. So it's very fast and very easy. So you cannot even see it very good, but it's you can put it a little bit higher, then it burns a little bit more, so you have to just try it. But there is a few settings on it, if you put it too high, you just burn a hole in it. So, so if I put it to the highest setting, um, that's what I use to connect the pieces to the steel. You put it just on the highest setting, it works very good. So I did not come up with this solution, so I did it before and a friend of mine uh, knew that it was not the perfect solution what I did, so he bought this thing to try and just worked perfect. So in the ideal world you can just put this thing on 220 volts, just on uh, the socket voltage and you just have power, so 
that's the best I think and these wires need to be a little bit longer I think then you can just leave it otherwise it's a little bit too short but it works very good like this you can modify it a little bit maybe and uh, the battery voltage will hold up pretty good <coughs> it's still a long job to do but it works perfect so uh, this complete exhaust I already did and as you can see yeah the results are just very nice much better than I had on the last uh, exhaust system I think it's just uh, yeah works out pretty good so I'm now going to I have put this wall on it you just stick it on and I will uh, show you uh, how I do it on here so I first put a a piece on and I will show you the result. So, two pieces of metal. I put the unit to just over strength 4, I will call it. And just then just pull the plus and the minus and step on the on the pedal and it will spot weld it together. And as you can see it goes pretty fast. That's it. So you have to be a little bit good with uh, origami, eh? just to puzzle everything in there, but you can see it's just nice and tight. Here on the top I used just the highest uh, setting, that is just how it works. So if you've got any questions about the heat insulation on your exhausts, um, Put some comments below the video. Uh, I will try to put all the links on my website, jainspeecher.com, the link is over here. The link also to one of these units uh, that I'm using and also to AJS um, because there are different sets you can buy. You can buy the uh, stainless steel separate, you can buy the wall separate, you can buy a, uh, the set that I bought, eh? that's uh, both of them. Um, this is not the only way how you can do it because you can also use just ceramic wall, that's this. This is the same thing that's used in your uh, chimney because it's, it's, I think the spec is up to 12 or 1300 degrees before it falls apart. Uh, some people use that. The, this is 0 0.1 millimeter. You also got different pieces of metal that you can use. There's some things that are a little bit thicker, not 0 0.15. So it's not the case that you sh this is the only thing that's on the market, but uh, this is the way to do it, I think. For me, this is the most the best way to do it. Also, the, the pieces are not that sharp anymore, but it's still, uh, yeah, you can have some sharp edges. You can have very easily a cut on your finger with the stuff because it's, it's pretty sharp. You can just cut it with a normal scissors, and uh, yeah. And I think the end result is, is 100 times better than the first time I did it. So. Of course, uh, if you do it a little bit more, it will get easier. So the results is very good on this. But if you can have uh, like harder to get and harder to reach places, but overall, it I'm very pleased with the results. So I think this is just uh, the solution to use. So I hope you have something we can do something with this information. Uh, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, thanks for watching. So next time the engine is going to be finally out of here, so I, I changed the way of doing things, so I've got a full exhaust ready on my car. So next video the engine will go out and I'm going to do the installation of the exhaust system uh, on the car and do some of the last things that I need to do. Um, and I have to do the modifications in the engine room, I have to um, yeah, get new plates in because it needs to make some room for the uh, downpipe. If you watched the last video, you've seen it. So I need to do some work in the engine bay. So the next two months will be pretty good. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and see you for the next video. Bye bye.